Hey guys, today I'm going to go over the differences between all the different ECUs from Holly. So, first we've got the Terminator X, Terminator X Max, Holly HP, Holly Dominator. Okay, so besides the fact that they're physically, the, the size differences between them, um, there's a there's a good bit of similarities, uh, and uh, this this question seems to come up a bunch. Uh, well, a bunch of questions come up this, uh, pretty often about you know how do they interchange and whatnot. So the easiest way to uh, to describe this is Terminator X and Holly HP are very similar. The difference is Terminator X will only drive high impedance injectors; it won't drive low impedance injectors. No, do not split the injector signal to two sets of injectors so you can try to get 16 injectors. It's, uh, it's no good, don't do that. But um, eight injectors, eight injector outputs, four inputs and outputs that are auxiliary, four inputs and outputs that are auxiliary, okay? Uh, onboard data logging, USB cable, plug in here. Uh, it saves it to flash memory here for your data logs, or it's got internal storage, I'm sorry, it's got internal storage here for uh, for data logs. This does not, this will data log to an SD card. Uh, so the, the Terminator X and the HP are similar in the input output count. They're similar in the, uh, you know, the amount of built-in injector drivers. Um, in fact, all three of these, Terminator X Max, Terminator X and HP, they all have eight uh, injector drivers in them, right? But the, again, the Terminator X series is only high impedance where this is high and low impedance, okay? So these will run either high or low. Uh, another difference is the Terminator X series, right? So both the, the X and the X Max, they use a Bosch O2 sensor, okay? So this O2 sensor works with this ECU, all right? This, it's used, but whatever, it's good for mock-up. Uh, this is an NTK O2 sensor. So if you're gonna go to alcohol, don't even consider these. This isn't, let's just call this not alcohol friendly because the O2 sensor is not really friendly with alcohol, all right? So the NTK, is what you wanna use when you're going to alcohol. Um, and when I say alcohol, I mean like M1, not ethanol. So they use two different style O2 sensors, okay? But both these have four inputs and outputs. Uh, when we talk about the differences between inputs and outputs on these, we can do 20 volt and thermosistor inputs here. We can't hear. So all of your outputs here are ground. Your inputs, same deal. Oh, you can do 12 volt, but you can't do... Uh, 20 volts. So you can't have a programmable table like the way I do for bump and whatnot. So when you're making your decision about what you want to use, um, you know, bring all this into consideration. Uh, on the other side here, you got LED indicators. These are good, but honestly, I think these are terrible because most of you guys ask questions about, well, my cam light, my six and my seven do this and that, and you don't read the instructions. So um, the, the, the beauty of the, the HP and the Dominator is there's no lights on it. Okay, which forces you to have to read the actual instructions. Uh, where this, you just see lights and you go, oh, this has got to be wrong, screwed, what's, what's wrong here? Somebody fix this, I screwed up, or Holly sucks, or whatever, right? So the lights are like typically just, they just spur you guys to just come up with whatever, you, you know, whatever, complaints. Or at least with the HP, the Dominator, you don't have any lights. So you have to actually pay attention. Um, but with that said, the lights, I guess, are nice for quick diagnostic. Um, these are light plastic cases, not potted, right? These are heavy aluminum cases, potted, right? So you can see the potting here, right? You can see it all on here. Um, now, when we talk about the difference between the X and the X Max, the X is just going to have your main engine harness. The X Max is going to have the ability to do drive-by-wire or transmission control, okay? So, I'm not opening it because it's brand new, but here's a trans harness, right? So if you have a, a, a transmission that needs to be controlled, 4060, 4080, whatever, it's only gonna work with these two. It's only gonna work with the Dominator and the Terminator X Max. Um, 
the best thing that they, they could have done was they kept the power plug, right, right here, the same. So the power harness is the same. And then the main engine harness is the same. Let me bust this open here. I don't even know what this main engine harness is for, but it doesn't matter because if we look, here we have a, a Terminator X Max, right? We're plugged in. Hey, we want to go from a Terminator X Max to a Dominator. Mm. Sorry, I got really weak hands. We go to a Dominator and. Eh. Same exact harness, right? So you can literally pull your Termex out, plug your Dominator in. You can pull out your Termex, your standard Termex, plug in an HP. These engine harnesses work with all of these ECUs, okay? Pinouts are all the same. Now you'll have to build a new global file when you go from Terminator X to uh, like V5 um, in, in a Dominator or an HP. But if you've already got the car wired and it's up and running, uh, something that's a, a great way to get into EFI if you're a carburetor guy. Hopefully we don't have a lot of those left. But, um, it, you know, or if you're coming from a different system and you decide you want to take a, a try at Holly, Terminator X is a great entry level setup, right? So this is a Terminator um, X harness right here, right? Main harness. But they were smart enough to populate the wideband sensor right so here's the wideband that comes with the o2 sensor or what this is the wideband o2 sensor that comes with the terminator x right that doesn't work right this harness is for terminator x so they supply an adapter right so that if you decide to go from a terminator x or an x max to an hp or a dominator now you take the better o2 sensor the ntk clickety clack there we go. We've now got an NTK O2 sensor. We don't have to touch the main engine harness, okay? So we remove the adapter and we go right to an NTK O2 sensor um, like everybody should use anyway. Uh, the engine harnesses are all the same. So if you buy, if you buy a Terminator X or X Max, it's gonna come with a harness. It's gonna come with a three and a half inch handheld. Um, it's gonna come with an injector harness. It's gonna come with a lot of stuff, okay? The harnesses all work. They're all the exact same. Uh, the, the difference here is you'll have to replace your O2 sensor and go to an NTK or the Bosch variant for the HP and the Dominator. I suggest just buying the NTK. Um, but you don't have to rewire the car, right? You don't, have to, you don't have to rewire any of that stuff. So you can wire the car up and spend the first three, four, six months, a year, whatever, on a Terminator X, and then you go, you know what? I really want the control of... Uh, I'm going to change the car over from gasoline to alcohol. I want to go to a Dominator. Remove this, plug this in, and that thing will fire up and run uh, using all the existing uh, wiring harnesses that you already had in the car. You'll just have to change your O2 sensor. Um, so hopefully that answers the questions about the wiring harnesses. Uh, they all work with all of these ECUs. Same thing with the power cable. The, uh, the other thing, Terminator X... It's got a uh, onboard one bar map. Uh, I don't use it because um, it's a pain to run a hose into the car where we don't have that here. But if that's something that's important to you and you want to use a one bar, one bar onboard map, you can. Um, the harness is already populated for a map sensor. Uh, somewhere in here. Anyway, there's a map sensor populated already somewhere in here. Um, for you to plug in a map sensor underneath the hood. So you can plug a map sensor in under the hood with this or you can use the one bar map that's already built in. Um, as far as cost, you know, because that's always the, the, the big question, right? Yes, this and this is more expensive. This and this, they do a lot more, okay? So they do more things, so they cost more monies, okay? So do less things, cost less monies. Do more things, cost more monies. Okay? So if, you, so if you buy a car, you buy the base model, right? You, know, you, you buy the base model, right? 
And then when you go to get the baller model, it's up here. When you buy that car, it costs more monies to get the baller model than it does the base model, right? So, so you look at the Dominator as the fancy rims and the nice stereo and all that kind of stuff. And then you look at the Terminator X as the car that works great and gets you back and forth to work really good. Maybe it doesn't have heated leather, you know? So, I mean, it's got power windows, you know what I mean? Because it's 2020. But, you know, it's, it's, it's still, you know, maybe you wanted that heated leather. Boom, heated leather. Here, we got cloth. All right, we got cloth. Here, we got power cloth. All right? Here, we got power cloth with heat. All right? I did have that in my Chevy truck, by the way. Power cloth with heat. Here we got we got power heated leather, probably with air conditioning too. So that's kind of the rundown on cost. Um, uh, we're a dealer. I'm not trying to sell you anything because um, I don't deal with any of the sales. My girlfriend does, uh, and I don't make any money on anything, so it doesn't really matter. Um, hit up any of your dealers, somebody that's knowledgeable with whatever you want to do, with whatever you want to buy. There's a lot of great dealers out there. Don't buy from Summit. Or jags i mean you can i'm not saying don't but you shouldn't right you should be supporting dealers that that uh that are going to answer the phone for you you know that are going to um they're going to help you out they're going to they're going to be the ones that, that answer your tech questions online they're going to be the ones that respond to emails that you know whatever they're going to answer the phone at one o'clock in the morning by the way stop doing that to me okay stop calling me at one o'clock in the morning whoever yes, you are please. um support your dealers your educated dealers okay not just your parts hustlers but your educated dealers uh if you call up summit and jegs they have a fantastic return policy they don't know anything about this stuff so hopefully that answered a bunch of your questions um <clears throat> again your dominator hp terminator x max terminator x camry lexus See you.